So you're wondering if you should go to college to become a developer. What's going on guys? It's your boy Kilo Loco. Got me some uh, some cereal. This is pretty good. All right, so I actually don't even usually eat cereal, so don't don't let this fool. I actually don't even usually eat breakfast, but um, today is the first day that uh, I actually have Wednesdays off. I um, talk to I talk to my manager at my job, and now I have Wednesdays off, so that's pretty cool. And um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be spending more time giving you guys the content that you deserve. I'm going to be working a lot more on, my baby's crying, <laughs> I'm going to be working a lot more on my platform, getting you guys stuff out on YouTube, um, all the good stuff, so I decided to do the dev vlogs, maybe you guys are interested in my life, I don't know, I'm going to try it out for like, maybe like four weeks, see how the views do, see how the comments do, if you guys like it, then maybe I keep going, if you guys don't like it, then probably stop. Supposedly the most important meal of the day. All right, guys. So I'm going to actually tell you a little bit about what's going on today. But first, you know, today is Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 17th. It's Wednesday the 17th. And uh, for the first time in a while, Bitcoin has actually gone down um, in price for quite, quite a bit. It's under 10,000. It was under $10,000. And guess what I did? I bought Ten thousand. Uh, I bought not not ten thousand. I ain't got money like that. I bought a uh, hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin, which brought me to about 0 0.01 Bitcoin, which is uh, you know <laughs> a one percent Bitcoin. But uh, it's more than I've ever had. So yeah, that's that was kind of cool for me. Today is actually a really special day for me. Um, once again, it is the first day that I actually have a Wednesday off, and it's going to be every Wednesday I have off. So I'm only working four days a week over at, at the startup, and um, on Wednesdays it's just um, t time that I'm dedicating to um, Kilo Loco as a brand and as a business. So I thought that was really awesome. And what we're going to actually be doing is we're going to go uh, meet up with one of, I guess I could call him like an associate. I don't even know what to call him, like a like a partner kind of. We're providing uh, solutions for other like companies, other startups, and stuff like that. Um, whenever they want to like build an app or if they want to um, you know have uh, have their app or website designed he does like the design work he's also doing like he's he, essentially building a collective that's what it is yeah we're gonna go meet up with him then after that we're gonna go have uh, lunch with my son and my wife um, at some vegan place so yeah there's that and then um, you know in the middle of the day once I get back over to my parents house which is where I work then that's what I'm going to go over should you go to college to become a developer and that's when you'll get your answer. I also think I might be going to a meetup today which would be really cool. It's uh, the Swift Coders meetup or the Learn Swift meetup, one of those. Um, I might be going out to, the, out to that later on. It's all the way out in Santa Monica. Kind of a far drive. Don't want to don't go that far but whatever. So that's pretty much what we're going to be going over and doing today guys. So I guess uh, I guess we'll see what happens next, huh? All right, guys, so we're actually headed over to the workspace that uh, David works at, um, that I used to work at, but uh, decided like, nah, I ain't gonna be spending all that money every month and not even have a quiet place to film and record. So yeah, we about to head over there, so mm -hmm. let's do it. All right, so we're here. Construction. Let's see if David's here. All right, guys, so um, that was my associate David, and um, he just kind of went over with me what we're what we're what's expected. Um, for the next app that I'm going to be contracting for. 
So yeah, and, and we talked a little bit about that crypto, you know. Everybody get in that crypto, you know. So um, that was pretty cool. All right, so next, um, just got off the phone with my wife, Adriana, and um, it's time to head over to lunch, but the little guy won't be with us, so it's just gonna be uh, her and I. We're gonna have a little date, um, get some, uh, some vegan food and some boba, so let's do it. All right, so it looks like uh, we made it. We're here at Hannah's Kitchen. So uh, let's go, uh, let's look at this place. All right, so uh, let's try this out. So uh, this is what we got. Look at that. Adriana got some tacos and I got some vegan teriyaki chicken, a vegan teriyaki chicken bowl, some boba, some raspberry iced tea boba. And now it's time to eat. Alright guys, so that, sh that was that was some pretty good vegan food. Damn, I'm, I'm actually, I'm truly impressed. Hannah's Kitchen, go get it. Alright, so um, what I gotta do is I have to go to Best Buy. I just realized that, um, you know, I'm probably gonna need a new SD card. Gotta get a 64 um, gigabyte, but um, I ain't gonna show none of that. I'm gonna head over to my parents' house. I'm going to start recording some videos so that you guys have that new content coming out on the YouTube channel. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about, you know, should you go to college to become a developer? So let's, let's do it. And uh, here we are. Back uh, to a very familiar scene, I think, for most of you guys. All right, guys, so um, I am just gonna get to work, uh, record a couple of videos. Um, just wanted to say, you know, most of the dev vlogs are going to be a lot better than this. This is my first attempt at doing something like this. Um, hopefully you guys like it, but this was a way over eventful day. Um, it's not usually going to be this eventful, but you know, maybe I can make it look kind of nice for you guys, but still, um, yeah, it definitely, it, it definitely won't, it won't be like this every time, but yeah, I'm gonna get to work. Um, and then I will answer your question. Do I need to go to college to become a developer? All right, let's get to it. What? So you're wondering if you should go to college to become a developer. The answer is no. Quite simply, no. Do not go to college to become a developer. Yeah, I bet you didn't have anybody just tell you the truth straight up like that, huh? Nah, -uh. you always get those indecisive answers like, oh, well, it kind of depends on you and da da ba da ba da ba. Nah, I ain't about that. I'm gonna tell you straight up, not go to college to become a developer. So, I mean, what you really gotta understand is that you could become a developer right now, this instant, right now, with all the resources that are on the internet, there is no reason that you can't start becoming a developer right now. Now, am I saying not to go to college at all? No, not saying that at all. Not saying that, you gotta be careful with uh, the way that you interpret what I'm saying. So what I'm telling you is that if you're curious about becoming a developer and you are not really sure if you wanna go down that path or not, Start going down that path. No money spent. You see guys, the way that I learned how to code is I'm technically self-taught, right? Everybody says they're self-taught, you know, because there's so many resources available to you. I learned through online courses. I took the Dev Slopes course and I have no problem saying, hey, I took Dev Slopes, that's what it is. They have some of the greatest courses on, on learning on how to do some of this stuff. Um, on learning how to do development, especially with like iOS type stuff. There, there are millions of videos out there for you guys to consume and start doing development in whatever field it is that you wanna start doing development in. The other reason I have a problem with this question is because it's like, do you even know if you like development? Right? Like, do you even know if you really want to be a developer? Like, are you sure that if you started coding, you'd be coding passionately? Are you sure about that? Right? Because what happens if you end up going to college and you realize, hey, 
this isn't something that I like. This isn't what I want to spend the rest of my life doing. And this is more important for younger people. The younger that you are, the more likely you are to change what you want to do in your life, what you want to do towards the end of your life. That's most likely going to change. If you're a little bit older, hey, what you want to do still may change, but you have more wisdom, more perspective on what your likelihood of completing something, you know, going down a path and following it. Um, you know, you just have a better understanding on life and you might be a little bit more um, capable of making a decision on whether you should go to college or not. College is super expensive. You guys are going to be spending thousands and thousands of dollars just to learn something that you could have learned online and then on top of that what you could have been doing instead of going to college and waiting four years to get a degree five years now because everything's impacted and stuff at least in the u.s it is um you could have been building a portfolio you could have been um, building up real world experience gaining skills building your own knowledge learning about the stuff that you want to learn because let's face it, they're gonna teach you a bunch of stuff that you're never even gonna use again. I don't even know who the second president was of the United States, and I'm still a coder. I'm still making good money, man. So what I'm saying is, no, you should not go to college to become a developer. You should become a developer starting today. Starting today, you should become a developer, and then after a couple of years, then if you are very interested in continuing down this path for a good length of your life, like you, sp you plan on spending another five, 10, 20, 30, the rest of your life, then you should definitely decide on going to college. Now, I'm mostly against going to college because it doesn't, it's not gonna teach you the stuff that you real, one, it's gonna teach you a lot of uh, insignificant stuff. And then two, it's not gonna be able to keep up with the speed that technology grows at. So you're gonna be learning some of the outdated stuff. But one of the great things about college is that you, ex you establish a very, very strong network of people that you can interact with. And that is a super, super valuable resource. Like think of it like this. Um, if you were in the same class as the guy that started Google or something like that, and then you guys had like a project together or something like that, then hey, getting hired at Google later on 10, 10 years down the road would probably be a lot easier than getting hired um, just coming out from nowhere by, by coding on your own, right? Also, going to college, they're going to give you a very strong foundation on on coding topics and and things like that like there's a lot of stuff that i don't know because i'm self-taught about computers and how the actual hardware works and like and and some of these very very granular um in-depth type of things they're gonna teach you that type of stuff once again none of that stuff is probably needed to even code especially not nowadays with all these higher level languages but you'll learn that stuff you'll learn it and that's the um, awesome thing about college. Now you gotta be very, very careful about it because like I said, it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars, but hey, you can get started today. I'm putting out all kinds of uh, free resources out here on YouTube, free stuff out here on YouTube. And you can consume as much as of that stuff as you want. If you have a foundation already laid down, then my videos are perfect for you. And I'm also getting into um, creating even more content for beginners. So hey, that's even better. Also on top of that, I'm going to be putting out all kinds of courses as well to get you from beginner all the way to super advanced during this year. And that's way cheaper, way cheaper than college. So that's my two cents on should you go to school to become a developer? My answer is no. Get started today, become a developer, and down the line, if you're sure that you want to you know, make this your career, then you can go to college and benefit from all the things that college has to offer. And if you feel that I'm wrong, then let me know that I'm wrong. Drop a comment below. But honestly, you ain't gonna change my mind on that. All right guys, so now that that's out the way, um, what we can do is we can finally head over to the meetup. Um, it's the Learn Swift meetup here in LA slash Santa Monica slash Southern California slash United States slash other stuff. Um, and I haven't been to a meetup in 
months, like over eight months, over eight months, um, that wasn't my own meetup. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that because I never get to do it. So let's, let's head over before it gets any darker. <laughs> So apparently they, they uh, decided to do the meetup at the Apple Store. So here it is. So this is one way to avoid memory things. Yeah, it kind of goes back to what Gar was talking about with uh, ownership. And um, so this is, remember this, because this is going to come up uh, in the second half. That was a that was a really cool uh, meetup. It was about delegation pattern, uh, the delegation patterns, and things like that, which you know I'm gonna actually be covering in a couple of weeks on on my, on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. Um, it was hosted by Garrick. Big thanks to Garrick. Got to meet up with Stephen Burrard, which was also really awesome. So yeah, really good day. Um, it's not usually like this. It won't always be like this. I promise. Uh, it's gonna be a lot more boring. But hope you guys like the vlog, the dev vlog, and um, if you did, make sure you leave a comment below letting me know, like the video. If you guys are interested in what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, you can check me out on Instagram. If you guys have questions about uh, anything, like if you actually want to have a conversation or have a question about, um, you know, a bug in your code or something like that, hit me up on Twitter. So, yeah, thanks for following me, following along today. Uh, have a good rest of the day and keep coding passionately. Yeah, now I have to figure out how to get out of here.